Okay, so the previous lesson, right, we were talking about the different components of a circuit um, as well as how to connect them to a bulb properly. So for this lesson, we are going to go more in depth into um, circuit itself, uh, how to translate it into a scientific diagram, uh, as well as the different ways of con connecting a circuit. Okay, so this chapter, this topic is also quite important. Uh. These are the ones that will cost you a lot of marks during exam. Okay, so um, when you are to, supposed to draw a circuit during exam, right? Unless it specifically tells you to draw the picture itself, otherwise you are supposed to use symbols. Okay, like the one shown here. Okay, I'll go through it one by one. Uh. So you cannot draw the pictures during exam. You are supposed to draw the symbols instead. Okay, when they ask you to draw a circuit. Okay, so um, the wire is just basically represented by a line. Nothing difficult to remember. Um, switches is remember uh, represented with uh, two circles, as you can see. So um, if it's a closed switch, okay, just like the picture when the switch is closed, which allows the electricity to flow through to light up the circuit, the bulb in the circuit. Um, since it's a connector, right? So it will be like this. So if it's a open switch, that means when you are switching off the light. Okay, then it will be an open gap like this. Okay, uh, and then batteries are represented like this. So if your batteries is connected uh, in series next to each other, then you can draw them next to each other. You okay, no need to connect them with any lines or whatsoever. Okay, so it's for one battery, it's for two batteries, and then this for three batteries. Uh, okay, so you, you have to think of something very important which students always make mistakes. Okay, so just think of this. Okay, you realize that um, I draw negative here, positive here, right? Oh, so I did not draw wrongly. Huh? This is indeed the negative side of the battery. This is the positive side. So how do you remember it? Oh, positive is plus one. So positive is the longer one. Okay, negative is uh, minus so it's the shorter one so that's how you remember it uh. oh, so let me just draw again so for battery okay so they look like this right a lot of students will think oh so this is how it looks like in symbol no this is wrong okay this is the negative this is the positive right so negative is the shorter one the positive is the longer one oh so please take note of this a lot of students will make this mistake uh, the next one is the bulb. La. So the bulb is represented like this. So uh, you have to memorize all these symbols, all of them. Okay, they will not be provided during exam. Uh, of course, sometimes you can refer to maybe the MCQ and look at some clues. Maybe the MCQ question has some of the symbols provided already. But otherwise, uh, you have to know how all these components look like in symbol. So you have to know all this. You have to memorize by heart. Okay. So I just do a simple uh, uh, translation. So uh, this is a just a very simple circuit with the bulb, the batteries, as well as the switch. Okay. So take note, uh, this switch is actually closed, uh, it's connected. Uh. Okay. So um, this is a closed circuit with uh, one switch, one bulb. Sorry, battery, one battery, one bulb. Oh, this is a closed switch by the way okay um, now I, it's not very clear here but uh, in case you're wondering so this is probably the positive and negative so if I were to translate it right okay um, you will have to have the switch this is a closed switch right so it's closed okay then it's connected to a battery so a battery um, just now I was saying positive is the longer one, right? So this is the longer one and this shorter one because it's the negative. Okay, so this is your switch. Sorry, this is your bulb, ah. my mistake, this is your bulb, not your switch. Then the bulb is connected to the switch. No? It's a simple one. If you want to be neat, you want to draw a straight line, for example, do something like this, no problem. Okay, you want to use a ruler and draw like this. Both is acceptable, ah. Huh? The wire doesn't have to be perfectly straight, no problem. You draw like this is also alright. I believe uh, many of you are very familiar with the word diffuser. 
uh, you always hear about it at the bug fuse already but what does it actually mean okay um, a bug fuse means it's basically spoiled but what causes it to spoil uh? it is usually because your filament is too hot and then it melts and then there's a break in the circuit uh, that may be one of the possibility there may be other possibilities like for example uh, because of oxidation uh, the filament is uh, no longer usable okay but for primary school level you're just going to focus on the fact that the filament is too hot that's why it's melted so usually you should know that there's a uh, connected filament here okay there's usually a filament here but now the filament is gone so what happens okay um, if the filament is there okay you'll be connected like this one the electricity will just flow right and then here you light up the bulb will light up okay but um, if let's say you have too many batteries as you can see yeah, there are so many batteries here so when you have too many batteries there will be a lot of electricity flowing through when there's a lot of electricity flowing through okay this part here the filament will get too hot okay so when it's too hot you reach the melting point Re reaching the melting point meaning it has reached a point that the filament has will start to melt okay so when it starts to melt right you will be gone uh, that's why now the diagram shows you that there's no more filament there okay so when that happens basically what you are ha what is happening here is there's a gap in your circuit already huh? okay that means there's a gap in your circuit already. maybe only part of it is burnt so maybe you have still a bit of filament left but it is still a gap in the circuit lah. so that's why you will not light up uh, but otherwise if the whole filament is gone then even if electricity flow through there will be nothing to produce light up because filament is the one that produces light huh? so that's the meaning of fuse lah. basically it means the filament is too hot and has melted okay so basically your circuit can be connected into either series or parallel lah. okay these two main category um, series is when there's only one pathway for the electricity to flow something like this okay parallel is like the word parallel suggests that means there's out, um, alternative pathway okay two lines or even more there can be more than two uh. that means it can be more than two okay it can be more than two okay it can be more battery as well oh, so that's what i meant by parallel uh. so they have more than one pathway to run uh, you get quite confusing um, so starting from this slide onwards, you need to pay, pay clo close attention to what I'm saying. Uh, you have to know how to find the brightness, which one, which circuit will be brighter. And you also have to know the advantages and disadvantages of each type of connection. Okay, so let's move on to the first kind. Okay, so the first kind is when the light bulb is connected in series. Oh, so the light bulb is connected side by side. Okay, so this is the easy way of connecting lah okay um for this kind of connection right usually you only have one switch that con con uh, controls all the bulb lah. what do i mean that means if the switch is closed all the bulb will light up if the switch is open all the bulb will not light up so all the bulbs is basically controlled by one switch usually electricity is measured by um, voltage and ampere but for this practice we will just take it as unit anyway you will not be taught about voltage and ampere yet lah, not in primary school okay so uh, in terms of the amount of electricity we will just uh, use units same thing for brightness we will also use unit it will be easier for you to understand uh, you can take each battery as one unit you can take each battery as two unit five unit is totally up to you but for me usually i like to take it that each battery is two unit okay so since each battery is two unit right so total the brightness here is four unit because there's two batteries ma. oh sorry not the brightness the amount of electricity is four unit each battery two unit two, two battery four unit la. basic math okay now let's assume that it is closed circuit ready la. okay so since the electricity is flowing through okay because it's a closed circuit right okay and it is um, in a series connection the amount of electricity that's flowing through will be split up by the bulbs they will share it so it will be two units two units each okay so that's how they share in a series connection so likewise on the other diagram on the right um, the four units of electricity will be shared by the four bulbs so each one will be one unit bright 
okay uh, yeah so the reason why you have to know this is because during exam you will not be tested they will never ask you to calculate they won't but it is very common for ex during exam for them to ask you uh, which connection will produce a brighter bar so to get a clear answer you have to know how to calculate Okay, if you know how to calculate, you can know which kind of connection will produce the brightest bulb and the dimmest bulb. Okay, so other than um, the brightness, okay, let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages. Uh. Okay, for a series light bulb connection, um, the advantage the advantages is you can no matter how many bulbs you connect, uh, the battery life will remain the same. So let's say for example on the left side right let's say this one it lasts you for uh, one hour on the right side you are still using the same amount of battery right but now you are using more bulbs although you are using more bulbs ah, but you still last you the same amount of time oh, because reason very simple just because you connect more bulbs doesn't mean that they'll be using more electricity ah. they are still using the same amount of electricity oh, they are sharing it as you can see so the battery life remains the same so that's, this is the advantages of a series light bulb connection the disadvantages is what you have seen just now when I con connect more bulb they share and then when they share each bulb will become dimmer also that's the disadvantage okay the other one that's very important is this this is often what your teacher okay or the paper setter for exam is looking for this is the answer they are usually looking for so just now we are talking about in a series connection right if one of the bulb fuses the rest will also not light up right so why is that so now let's look at this illustration uh. this is a closed circuit okay the electricity is flowing through so let's assume that the bulb on the left side it will fuse okay so when it fuses as i was telling you the filament will be gone so now the filament is gone right so what happens that means there's a gap here why not this is what you call open circuit so because of the fact that there is, it is now an open circuit, the electricity cannot flow through anymore. And therefore, that's why this one will also not light up. Just now, we have talked about light bulb series connection. So now we will talk about light bulb parallel connection. That means instead of the light bulb connecting next to each other, the light bulb is connected in parallel. Or so that they have alternative pathway to travel. Uh, one of the good thing about this is that uh, for parallel light bulb connection right you can place a switch next to each of the bulb so that each bulb can be controlled individually so that's the good thing about it lah. okay uh, let's look at some other advantages so um, when you have more bulbs right the brightness will also remain the same why is that so ah? so let's go and use our calculation again so same thing we have uh, uh, two batteries right so it's four units of brightness Four units of brightness okay so for four units of brightness in a series connection they have to share right but because this is a parallel connection so they don't have to share so therefore the brightness of each bulb is still four units each it won't decrease okay likewise if let's say um, the circuit on the right side they are all close close switch that means it's a close uh, close circuit they will still also all be four units they will not share so that's the good thing lah. Oh, as you connect more bulbs the, the brightness of the bulb will not become dimmer it will remain the same okay uh, most importantly this is what the exam will always ask the answer that during exam they are looking for is that when one of the bulb fuels the rest can remain lit. so for a series connection if one of the bulb fuels all will not be able to light up right but for a parallel circuit connection if one of them fuses the rest will remain lit okay so in your classroom for example you realize hey if one of the light bulb goes off ah, it fuses really right the other light bulbs in your classroom can still remain uh, lit right so that means your classroom light is actually connected in parallel ah. so how is how are they able to do that uh, I'll show you on the next slide now let's move on to the disadvantages first the disadvantages is this ah, because uh, as I was telling you, when you have more bulbs, the brightness remains the same, right? If the bulbs is able to remain the same brightness, that means that when you connect more bulbs, they are taking away more battery each time. That means the battery life won't be that long. So for example, if let's say the circuit on the left side can last for one hour, 
okay the circuit on the right side probably can only last 30 minutes okay there's an example basically you shorten the lifespan of your battery okay now let's look at why is it that the other bulbs can still remain lit in a parallel connection when one of the bulbs uses so right now they are all closed circuit both bulbs are light up so that's good now let's say the one with the red lines the bulb with the red lines fuses so the filament is gone so obviously now you have a gap here so no electricity can flow through right okay so okay cannot light up but you realize that hey this one still have a closed circuit right so it remains unaffected so this bulb will still remain lit okay and that's the reason why we have already talked about how the bulbs can be connected now we are going to talk about how the batteries can be connected so let's look at how the batteries can be connected in series so when the battery is connected in series that means they are connected next to each other okay, in one line okay um, so when you have more batteries the bulb will become brighter so as i was saying that each battery let's say is two unit you have four units of electricity here so therefore the brightness of the bulb will be four unit okay the circuit on the right side four times two so total there are eight electric eight units of electricity so the brightness of the bulb will be eight units as well oh, that's why we add more batteries the bulb will be brighter so that's the advantages of a series connection okay but you have a problem here lah. okay uh, at the start of this uh, video I've already talked about bulb fusing right so we have two elect too many batteries there will be too much electricity when there's too much electricity the, the filament in the bulb may become too hot and then it may fuse oh, so that's the problem we have too many batteries the bulb may fuse okay um, another disadvantage is when you add more batteries right it does not increase how long the bulb remain lit because they are still using the same amount of uh, electricity okay so let's say for example the one on the left side lasts for one hour the one on the right side will although you have more batteries now uh, it will still last the same amount of time okay because now with more batteries the bulb is just going to use up uh, more electricity every single second okay so that's why the amount of time they will last is still the same So let's look at what if the batteries is connected in parallel. Okay, uh, the advantages is when you have more batteries, the bulb can remain lit longer. La. Just now when it's connected in series, when you have more batteries, it doesn't last longer, right? Okay, uh, why is that so? Uh? We have to look at uh, the amount of brightness first. So, same thing, uh, 4 units, 4 units, right? Okay, now with um, this amount of batteries, they will just take turn giving so this will still be using 4 units every second so that's why the brightness of the bulb is still 4 units now it doesn't become 8 units huh? ok same thing here 4 units 4 units 4 units right so they will take turn giving to the bulb so the bulb will still be 4 unit bright ok so that's why because of that since they are taking turn that's why when you add more batteries in parallel the bulbs can actually last uh, longer ok so obviously the disadvantage is when you add more batteries it doesn't increase the brightness ah. oh, as you can see from the circuit on the left and the right although there's more batteries on the right but the brightness of the bulbs remains the same if you have been paying close attention to what I've been saying just now for the last few slides regarding series and parallel connection right you should be able to understand this diagram fairly easily lah. okay so I'm gonna um, run through with you uh, to test your understanding so same thing each battery is 2 units, right? So we have 4 units here, 4 units here, 4 units here, right? Okay, so as I was telling you, for battery that's connected in parallel connection, they will take turn giving to the bulb. So basically, the amount of electricity entering this and this pathway is 4 units each. They will just take turn going in. So 4 units going in. So for the one that's one bulb right they don't have it doesn't have to share with any other bulb so it will be four units of brightness for this bulb whereas the one at the top right it is being shared by two bulbs right so each of them will be two unit bright huh? 
So if you are able to know how to calculate the brightness of the bulb and how much electricity is uh, coming out from the battery, you'll be able to know which bulb is the brighter. So during exam, if they ask you to arrange the circuit from the dimmers to the brightest or the brightest to the dimmers, you will know how to arrange uh, based on this calculation. Then let's look at a circuit tester. Uh. Okay, a uh, circuit tester has not much to do with whatever we learned just now about parallel or series connection. Uh. A circuit tester, like the word suggests, is, is to test something. So what is it testing for? It is testing whether a material is a conductor or insulator. So what you are seeing here is a uh, aluminium foil. Okay, so aluminium is metal, right? So like I say, most metal are uh, good conductors of electricity. So that's why you see this bulb here is lighted up. Okay, because um, the electricity is flowing through the aluminum foil. However, if I were to remove the aluminum foil and put a piece of eraser here. So now the two metal clips is clipping onto an eraser instead. Uh, so there will be no more aluminum foil. An eraser is made from rubber, right? And we know that most wire is being wrapped around by rubber because rubber is a insulator to keep you safe. So because rubber is an insulator of electricity, that means the battery, the electricity cannot flow through. That means this is basically as good as an open circuit ready. So the electricity cannot flow through here because it is an insulator. Therefore, you don't light up. So very simple. When you use a circuit tester, okay, and you clip the materials there, if the bulb light up, if it light up, that means the material that you have clipped on is a conductor. Likewise, if it did not light up, that means the material you clip on is a insulator. Oh, simple as that. Another popular question that usually come out for exam is your circuit card. Uh, circuit card basically has two sides. Uh, one side is only show you the points like this. Okay, you'll probably put a name to it. Lah. Okay, A, B, C, D, E. On the other side is where you can see all the wires connected. During exam, they only show you the side that is not showing you the wire. So, uh, based on which point when joined will light up the light bulb, you have to go and think um, how is the wire connected at the back. Okay. Um, now, let me just briefly run through with you how to find out. So this is the table they'll give you during exam. They tell you when, which point and which point join, whether or not the light bulb will light up. So um, they tell you A and B when you join the wire together. Okay, to a light bulb, it doesn't light up, right? Okay. Then they also tell you if you join D to E together with a light bulb, it will light up. Okay. Uh, as well as uh, B, D, and G at the bottom. Lah. Okay. Okay, so basically you just have to focus on the yes, which is the one that I light up. So you just focus on this tree. Don't, don't need to really care about the no. Oh. So if they say yes, that means the light, up, light bulb has lighted up. If the light bulb has lighted up, that means uh, these points are connected at the back. That's why electricity can flow through and that's why the light bulb can light up. So you just need to focus on the Yes, the one that light up. Okay, so D E B D G is somehow connected at the back, regardless directly or indirectly. You don't know. It doesn't matter. You just have to know that they are somehow connected. It can be directly or indirectly. What do I mean indirectly? I'll show you. This is the answer. So at the back, ah, your B G D and E is connected, right? So just like what the table say, B G D and E is connected. So as you can see. Although, for example, um, G and E, right? Although it is not directly connected, that means they are not connected uh, with one line. They are connected through B, but they are still connected. Right? That's why when you connect G and E, it will still light up. Oh, so I repeat again, uh, you just have to know that. Um, you just have to focus on the points that is lighted up. Okay, the points that light up suggest that they are connected. That's all. Don't need to complicate matters. Okay? They are somehow connected. It can be directly or indirectly. 
Okay, during exam they won't ask you if they are correct, connected directly or indirectly lah. Okay, but you can uh, just by looking at it, you know that they are somehow connected. Okay. So what have you learned today? Ah, uh? a few points. Um, the first one is symbols. Like I say, the symbol is very important. You must memorize it. Okay. And if it does come out, for example, usually it does out kind of all marks ah, because drawing of diagrams. Okay. The other thing is um, we will learn about the disadvantages and advantages of parallel and series connection. Okay. Um, you have to know that the benefit of parallel uh, light bulb connection is that when more the bulb fuses, right, the bulb can remain lit. Okay. That's the one that usually they will test you during exam. Uh. Okay, you also learn how to calculate the brightness. So, like I said, during exam, they will never ask you to say how bright, how many units is the light bulb brightness. They will never ask you that, but they will ask you which bulb, which circuit will produce the uh, brighter bulb and the dimmer bulb. So that's why you have to know how to calculate them. Okay, and that when the bulb will fuse when it gets too hot, uh, because the filament will melt creating an open circuit in the circuit and then the circuit tested is used to find out if an object is a conductor or insulator and that's all